so there's a bunch of games out here that I have played in my entire fucking life. Hi guys, my name is Tyco, and welcome back to another video. Now, I have two games right here. One I got for my birthday because I wanted it. And two, this game I've been searching for for years. The last time I got it is when Hollywood Video was a thing. Hollywood, if you guys are too young to understand this, Hollywood Video was a store that they expanded worldwide with Blockbuster and um, Movie Gallery. They're all shut down now. But Hollywood Video, Hollywood Video was a thing that started in the 80s and died out to 2010. They closed down, they closed the doors in 2010. Now, mind you, when I was a kid, we had a VCR. There was no DVDs, really. They only had CDs, like, CDs like this. They had tapes. If you're wondering what the fuck a tape is, let me show you. This here is a tape. This is American Pie 2. Now, this is what they used to sell. If you're too young for this, then, fuck. So, what this was, was a tape. And it was a lot more different from a DVD. You put this into your VCR, and then you have to rewind the entire fucking movie into the beginning, and then you watch it. And then when you're done, you rewind it back, put it back in its case, and you send it back to Hollywood Video. They used to sell games, too. And there was this one game in particular that I played as a child, and I loved it. I loved it so much that I wanted to buy it. But I was too young, and plus, I didn't have money when I was a kid. So... Years later, I am now 20, and Hollywood Video is no longer a thing. Now they got Family Video that's right next to Trucks or Fly. It's all weird. <coughs> and that is The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Now, there's a game. There's a... I don't know for some reason. There is a place where I live. It's a couple minutes away. It's called Game Vault. I don't know if it's... I mean, it's in Missouri, too. But it's also in PA. So they have this game here. And I decided to pick it up, buy it for $10, pre-owned, for the PlayStation 2, and it's called The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. One of the best Incredible Hulk games that I have ever played in my entire life. Hmm. And it's one of the rarest games that I had. I still got the Blockbuster one. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't really have it. Oh, if you guys are too young... You see this right here? This is the case. This is where the disc goes, obviously. You see this right here? You know what this was for? Here. Let me show you. Do you see this? This is for PlayStation 2. It's an 8, 8 megabyte Magic 8 memory card. Now, back then we had memory cards. If you didn't have a memory card, you can't save your game. You can keep your PlayStation on for days on end. But then again, that's not a great idea. So this will go here. And that's where the memory cards would go. Now, oh fuck. <laughs> well, it's stuck now, so. No, it's not. I had this memory card here. This was my dad's memory card. When he was married to my mom before I was even born, I was born in 99. And then this became mine. Now, I still own my PS2, I still own my PS3, and my own PS4. This is my PlayStation 4. This is my 500 gig, and I'm not using it. Because I got the PlayStation 4 Slim. I don't even get the Pro, but I got the Slim. One terabyte. <coughs> I'm sick, in case you're wondering. But... As you guys know me, that I'm a gamer on YouTube. I upload games on YouTube. I do vlogs on YouTube. What you guys don't know is, if you've been watching my channel for years, you would know that I have a massive U uh, not YouTube collection, <laughs> a massive movie collection from tapes, DVDs to Blu-ray, and I've watched every single fucking one, and yet it is still boring. So, I buy more movies. I sell them, and I buy more. There's another game out there that I played as a child. I think you guys should really try it out. Try out all four of them. 
that is Sly Cooper and his Evis Raccoonus. This is the greatest hits because this game, this game right here is easy. But if you buy it for the PS3 HD collection, you can get platinum on this real easy. The second one, easy too. Third one is easy too. But sometimes the third one's a piece of shit and doesn't want to fucking work. The fourth one, I never completed it. But there's a game out there that I played. And, uh... This is just the second one. This is Scooby-Doo Mystery Bam. Very fun game. You should totally check it out. And then there's one out there that is extremely rare. And I saw it on Amazon for $120. And that is a game that came out in 2002. It is extremely glitchy. But it's fun. It has 100 levels. And it's also Scooby-Doo. It's called Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. Now I have uploaded videos on it. So go check it out. Type in tykil 67 Scooby Doo, and it'll pop up a list of game <laughs> of live streams. I live streamed it for uh, four hours, two live streams, two hours, complete the entire game. I'm still trying to beat it again. <clears throat> if you guys don't know me, I am a huge fan of Scooby Doo. I watched it when I was a kid. I grew up on it. Of course, I just got the What's New Scooby Doo uh, Volume 4. Quick bonus episode. Then you. Of course, I got this one. I've seen this one. I've never seen this one. And then I got this one. And of course, one of my favorite movies is Alien Invaders. Came out. I think it was 98. 96. Mm. Another thing is, uh, I still buy CDs, in case you're wondering. Of course, I have Bush, 16 stone. The Essential Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam 10, which the cover's back here, Shady XV, the only Eminem album, not the only Eminem album I own, but the last Eminem album that I own. More, of course, I have the Motion Man's LP, <coughs> the greatest Johnny Cash duets, the best on Nickelback, the best of Nickelback. The m, m Show, as you guys can see, Pearl Jam Live on Two Legs, From the Heart, 80s, Nirvana Icon, m, m Encore, Deluxe, Nirvana Enduro, Recovery, I mean, of course, the Slim Shady LP, and Nirvana, never mind. Anyways, this is another shitty video. If you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.